All right, you know what that sound means? It's 63 minutes past the hour. Let's get you out of the door with your GMJ on the go. We begin now with the latest on the program for legal agencies are using to actually keep us safe. More than just recreational toys, drones are now being used by police. Here's Shelby Danielson. Well, now JSO and JFRD are investing in drones, and these are going to be helping at major events like sporting events. They were actually deployed at the Jags home game last night. They can cover a massive area very quickly and provide updates to officers on the ground. They'll be used in different police situations or in fire situations so that first responders can first see the aerial footage before they go into danger. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side. Have you seen this man? Please take a look at your screen if you have the time. He's 53 years old. His name is Alfred Jackson. JSO says they're looking for him to make sure that he's safe and well. He was last seen last night at about 7 on West Moncrief Road in the parking lot of Harvey's Food Store. If you have any information about his whereabouts, please call that number right there for you on your screen. Today, teachers, students, family at Oakley High School will hold a moment of silence memorial for 16-year-old Keandre Moss, who died in a car crash Monday. Two other students very seriously hurt as well, and we spoke with the parents of one of those young men in the car, Taj Ritchie, who says he is stable but struggling with what happened. Again, the memorial tonight at 645, right before their homecoming football game. And tomorrow, Jackson University's football game is doubling as a fundraiser to help the family of a JU student impacted by Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas. Senior Shalanda Neely, she is from Grand Bahama, and her home was destroyed in the storm. 50% of the ticket sales will go directly to a GoFundMe account for her for relief there. Kickoff is set for one in the afternoon. Mike Prangley, last look at our forecast. For yeah. Yeah. Hey, one more day of the nor'easter, so we'll have the splash and dash showers around. That'll include uh, late afternoon for the drive to and from school and work. But uh, keep in mind, we will dry out for a beautiful weekend, Saturday and Sunday, lots of sunshine. And a different look for you of that accident on I-95 South, just south of County Road 210. You can see how far back that traffic is backed mm. up, but it does open right up as soon as you get past it. Again, here it is on your map, crash with injuries. Two right lanes are blocked. And before we go, uh, 